This is the Adak, made in the 1920s by the Adak Company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It has eight toothed wheels where you dial in the digits with your fingers. You see the answer shows up in the middle there. It has thousands, hundreds, cents. There's a clearing lever over there, and nothing else. It's even got a nonsensical name. Folks back in the day really loved naming their machines with the word ad. Just in my own collection, I got the Adiator, the Adamite, the Ad O Bank, the Ad O Meter, the Ad O Master, the Vipo Ad, the Handy Ad, the Kess Ad, and here's the Ad Ack. We get it, it adds. Actually, the Ad Ack is one of the most nonsensical names of all of these. Maybe tied with the Kess Ad. What is that supposed to mean? ADAC is an early incarnation of a very common machine design. These things here are wheels, and every time one makes a full rotation, it's got a little gear inside that'll click the next digit up by one. Now you could do a set of spinning wheels laid out next to each other, with each wheel rotating around its own axis, like this here ADO-meter. This is the classic design invented by Pascal back in the 1640s. Now we call it the Pascaline. Or you could flip all these wheels on their sides and put them all on the same axis, like the ADAC. Machines of this type are called coaxial wheel adders. Coaxial, because all the wheels are mounted on one axis. There are lots of machines like this with slightly different features and setups. You know the Todd visible adding machine had two displays. The Resulta P series had a printer on it. Lots were made later on out of plastic. The gem adding machine is the same idea, but it uses loops of chain instead of rigid wheels. Oh, here's another rusty old gem adding machine that doesn't really work. Why do I even have My favorite machine of this type is the Chadwick adding machine, which looks just like the ADAC, but it's a lot smaller. Anyway, you get the idea. Everybody was making machines like this one. You walk down the street around 1950, you'll probably pass three different guys making coaxial wheel adding machines. But this thing is from the 1920s, which makes it one of the earlier models. It's probably why it's so much bigger than the later ones. It's old, but it's got all the typical features, and it's got instructions written right on the machine. To add, pull down. To subtract, push up. There you go. You want to add something like 7 plus 5, you stick your finger here at the 7 and pull it down. And then you do it again with the 5. And you can see the answer in the red numbers there in the middle. Oh man, this thing is hard to turn. Happens a lot with these old machines. They need to be lubricated to work right. Hopefully I can just flip it over and unscrew the... Oh no. The tabs. I hate these tabs. See, instead of using screws to attach the top of the case, they made these tabs that stick straight out, and then they put this bottom plate on and bend the tabs down to lock it on. So if you want to get this thing off, you got to get some pliers and unbend the tabs. But they're not easy to grab, and you might snap them if you try to bend them after all these years. So I'm just going to have to deal with the tough action on the wheels. These ones here can move pretty well. But my machine jams all the time when it needs to carry. See, I can go up to 9, and then it's supposed to carry over. But look at that. It just gets stuck here every time. I don't know why the thing just doesn't want to turn. Sometimes I can get it to work. Now, ah, whatever. When it was new, this thing probably worked fine. These little notches, all this pushing and pulling is hurting my fingers. These things are not at all easy to grab and push. Look at the Todd machine. The wheels have little flat tabs that push really easily. But this thing, it's like pushing on bicycle spokes. If I was using this for more than a few minutes at a time, I'd want to wear gloves or something to protect my fingertips. It's got a nice clearing lever. You push this thing down and the answer register clears back to zero. This lever is supposed to have a little flat plastic cap on it to make it easier to push. But I can push it just... Oh, my finger. What more can I say about the ADAC? Mine isn't in great condition, but it's enough to give a sense of the machine in its heyday. It seems to work more or less like the others in this category. The Todd is more sophisticated. The Resulta is smaller and has a printer. But this is a solid coaxial dial machine that gets the job done. It says ACU.
accurate adder and subtractor. Is that what ad ac is supposed to mean? Like ac, like accurate? It's a weird name, but the thing is mostly unremarkable. It'll go down in history not as a standout, but as one of many. There were others like it, and it was like the others. It's not great. It's not terrible. It just adds. Ack.